Hi, this is PD at Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.com, and this is tutorial 168. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to continue on with our little change room example, and I believe this is episode 10. Uh, there's one more thing I really wanted to cover uh, with the change room, and that is sometimes you're going to have a mesh that comes in, or at least a series of meshes. When they come in, they're not exactly in the right spot, and it's not as simple as just changing your mount point to have all of them fit properly. Uh, sometimes each piece has to be tweaked and kind of massaged into position individually. So we're going to extend some of our scripts to add that functionality. So let's go go ahead and open up Unity. And we'll also open up Model Develop. And I'm going to head back into Unity and what I'm going to be playing with today uh, will, will be the hairs from my model. That's a pretty good example for this model. So I'm going to open up my prefabs and I've already got a few hairs already made into prefabs. It's nothing more than just a copy of what comes in from the 3D modeling program. I just dragged it in. I'm actually going to turn off the uh, shadows. If you want to keep shadows on your mesh, make sure you just leave them on. But I know I don't want them. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, don't want the animation either. Alright, so I've got a mesh, a mesh renderer, and a material. And I'm just going to make sure they all have that. And they do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the script that's attached to our character asset manager. And I'm going to make sure I have a uh, a place for these materials or at least for the for the meshes so I'll just double click on it and I'm just going to come down to the bottom here and it's just like the rest oh sorry this is going to be a game object it's going to be an array of them and I'm just going to call this hair mesh and I am tempted to move it up to the top of the rest of the game objects and I think I will. Hmm. Apparently I hit the wrong key, so I'll just quickly retype it. And we'll come up and I'm going to put it right under the character mesh. Uh, under the weapon mesh. I'll head back into Unity and after it's done recompiling it should show up here. And I'll just quickly assign a few. Did I not make it an array? I did not. That's fine. We'll fix that. And I'll go ahead and actually add a few of them. Uh, let's add five to start with. So hair mesh, we'll open it up. I'm going to put five. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag the first five here in. And now that that's done, I'm going to click on the script that we have attached to our character mount, which is our changing room script. And let me see here. We're just going to shrink that down. That was for the materials. I'm actually going to go into my base character first, because we're actually going to need a mount point for our, for our hair. Now, anytime you're adding a 3D mesh to your model, you're going to want a mount point for that. And actually, let's just quickly go over this again because it has been a while. I'm going to open up my player models. I have a fat one, which I'll just drop in, and a muscular one, which I'll just drop in. And we'll just start with the muscular one because that's the one I have highlighted. And for the hair, I should already have that done. So we'll go into our head. So I have a hair mount, a helmet mount, and this is actually the mouth mount. And what I'm going to want to do is, well, just like before, if we click on the root, you have these little mount parts exposed, and that's where you drag and drop. And any, also any mesh that you want to change the material to, you're also going to want to get a reference to that as well. Since all my materials that I'll be changing are on one mesh, it made it really simple for me. 
But I'm going to come up here and create a mount point for my hair. And I'm just going to call it hair mount. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to make another one for my helmets. Now, adding a helmet, uh, you should easily be able to do that. It's the exact same as adding a weapon. But I'll save that off. And when I come back into Unity, after it's done recompiling, I should get a couple more mount points right here. So I'll set up my helmet mount. I'll set up my hair mount. And I'm going to take my base character here, and I'm going to apply it back to my prefab. So when I come to my prefab and click, we should see that they're set. And the fat one is not. So we'll go up to the fat guy. And we can get rid of the muscular character now. We'll go up to the fat guy. I'm going to go through his skeleton again. Until I get to where his head is. And we'll have to make the melt mount. And I'll click on his base and assign the hair and helmet. Now my hair and helmet mounts are actually in the exact same spot. Uh, it actually came with both. Generally, for me personally, I usually only have the one. And when a person's wearing a helmet, you just don't see their hair. Uh, generally, I do it that way so that the hair is not sticking through the helmet, uh, unless you have a very flat hairstyle. But that's completely up to you. Uh, for some reason, Unity's decided to re-import my assets. And it decided to re-import them very slowly. Did I mention it's re-importing them very slowly? All right. And for some reason, I have a bunch of errors now. Uh, well, let me reassign this or reapply it. I'm going to hit clear. I'm going to get rid of that. And let's just start it up. It should still work. I'm not really sure why I was getting all those errors. And I'm obviously going to have to make this screen a little bit bigger. All right, so I've got my room for my next one up here. And I'm not exactly sure what was going on there. Now, if problems do occur, I always back mine up before each tutorial, so I can always roll back. And hopefully you're keeping regular backups too. But that animation seems to be working. Uh, his boots, legs face, torso, and hands, weapon, and we can rotate and change meshes. So everything seems to be working. So I'm not sure really what all those errors were for. It was talking about the animations. But I'm just going to stop that, save that off, and I'm going to head into the changing room script now. Now we're going to want to set up an index to hold uh, what hair piece we have. And it's, you know, just be like the other one. So I'm just actually going to cut and paste one. And I'm going to start off at zero. And instead of being a weapon index, I'll just call it hair index. Now, of course, I could have copied any of these. Uh, I guess we could make it a little more defined by saying mesh. And the same thing with uh, weapon index, but we'll leave that for now. Let's come down to our on UI and we'll see where we're changing our weapon mesh. We're actually going to create another function quite similar to that and it's just going to be changing our hair mesh. So let's just actually go up here and look for a change weapon mesh. Right there. I'll bring it right down here. And let's just cut and paste that. 
Actually, I'm going to go back up to the top here, right underneath on GUI, to put that in. Just so I can see what the order is up here. And of course, we could have also just copied one of the other ones, but since it's so similar to the weapon mesh, I'm just basically copying that code. So instead of being change weapon mesh, it's going to be called change hair mesh GUI. And we're going to want to position that. It looks like the last one was put at screen height minus 175. And I believe we're actually increasing by 35, so that'll be what, 210? And we're going to display a different index, which will be, uh, we're calling it hair mesh index. And we'll just comment these out for now. Let's just make sure the, the um, button is being displayed properly. I'm just going to quickly make a few changes here. We want to increase that one. Then let's just save that off and we'll go try it out. So we'll go ahead and let it recompile. We'll clear out the warning, start it up, and I should have another button up here somewhere. Ah, we forgot to actually make the call in the on GUI. And I'll look at the order here. I was doing top to bottom. So I'll just add the hair up there. We'll save it off, head back into Mono Develop. And when we start it up, it looks like it's right on top of the other one. So we're going to have to move it up. It looks like one, two more spots. So we're doing 35. Let me see here. Yeah, we're doing th 35. So we're going to move it up another 70. And let's go check that out. I'm just trying to get something positioned right. And of course, that's like right above the head. Uh, let's actually take a look. If we go full screen, is it still in the way of seeing what we're doing? No. And we can, of course, go through our index. Uh, let's go ahead and write the code to start us off with the first mesh. And when we hit the button, it'll just cycle through for us. It looks like we're already over 12 minutes in this one. So I'll save this one off and we'll start up on the next one. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.